Sparkles College uh, to this lecture that we are going to give right now. Uh, this is one of the most important lectures that we have given until now because of the reason that it has the entire overview of the entire business ethics course. So we have studied multiple things about business ethics and social responsibility. We started from the simple term business to ethics to social to responsibility and we have now made a very clear vision of what this looks like. We very well know what business ethics and social responsibility entails, what it has in it. And we are ready to you know, apply it in our lives. I am pretty sure all of you who would have listened to my lectures and even myself, I have learned so much from these lectures that I am ready to apply business ethics in my life. I am ready to apply any sort of ethics in my life. And I know that once I am going to start off my business, this is the term that I have to take care of the most, that is business ethics. So that was the sole point of this lecture. Um, I would love to hear your feedback as well. And you know, let me know that whether you have learned from this course or not so that we can see that how much you have people have gathered how much you have learned but today the task that we have is to do this lecture and in this lecture we are going to have an overview of the entire course that we had so business ethics and social responsibility we have divided it into various categories we have divided it into various subtopics every week i used to give you some different lectures with different subtopics that used to fall under the business ethics and social responsibility but now it's time that we you know just concluded and it's time that we actually see what we what we can recall what we can remember in some different words right so that you know there's always different ways to teach different ways to learn different ways to read um, different ways to share data different data is there as well but all of them have a similar meaning that's the best part of it so uh, I'm gonna move towards this now. Just give me a second. with that business is a 
social responsibility achieving sustainability adopting key social responsibility principles such as accountability and transparency can help ensure the long term visibility and success of any organization or system very important and very easy we should know that you know principles such as ethics sincerity resources goals long term responsibility sustainability market ethics all these things they are coming towards the social corporate social responsibilities so social responsibility is for me that if i go on the road and i see that if someone is you know uh, in a critical situation or for example if some blind person is walking by and i help that person to pass the road so that means that i am also being ethical in that aspect i am also following a social responsibility that i have on myself it's my responsibility to be socially uh, responsible and ethical but what it means when it comes to a business so how is the diff- definition a bit changed or you can say how is it varying when it comes to the business itself this is because business ethics is again a very crucial concept we know that corporate social responsibility has something to do with the res- social responsibility in a corporation in a business this is what they're saying as well they're saying that adopting key social responsibility principles such as accountability that you have to be accountable to your business to your owners to your stakeholders to your investors and you have to be transparent in your actions so you can help ensure that it's going to be long term success for the organization and long term viability all right viability is that you you're viable you are long term uh, you know growth long term existence basically reliable viable is a word that came from reliable right so this is again a very crucial topic and success of or any organization or system then key principles that we have are organizational governance human rights labor practices environment fair operating practices consumer issues community involvement and development so before i move to this one i would like to first do these in detail with you this is of crucial importance and i really want you all to understand so our key principles when it comes to corporate social responsibility is organizational governance how you are governing the organization is of critical importance this is something which you cannot just you know be like that okay you know we know it all and we're not going to uh, do it because governing an organization is the is basically a work of the leadership people but leadership needs to ensure that they are ethical they are following the corporate social responsibilities so organizational government is of key importance human rights all the rights of the humans are super important not just labor every person who is a stakeholder every animal every human everyone is there for social responsibility labor practices you need to ensure that your laborers are having their rights labor rights are promoted their labor rights are you know up uh, need to take care of and you cannot just be like that okay just employees should work and we don't we are not going to give them any paid leaves or any you know sick leaves or any anything like that so this is something which is wrong so there are some uh, you can say some rules and regulations set set by the law that are in the favor of the employees or their 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 basic rights basically and this is what we call labor practices uh, and labor rights now environment environment again when you're doing a business you need to make sure that you're not polluting the environment all right it's not that you're you're manufacturing something and you're just disposing of the waste like that you're not just you know disposing it in the right way or you're not taking care of drainage when there's leakage in your work so this is something which is very important because you have to make sure that the environment is clean there's no air pollution there's no land pollution there's no water pollution all of these things need to be taken care of fair operating practices i discussed this in the last lecture as well very important you cannot be unjust to one employee just because you are favoring the other one you cannot be unjust to one investor just because you're favoring the other one likewise with all the stakeholders the operating principles need to be fair uh, it should be one rule for everyone you cannot just discriminate people on the basis of gender race color and all these things consumer issues again if the consumers have issues with your products you need to make sure that you address them you need to make sure that they are satisfied if you have made a mistake that's fine making a mistake is fine but you need to make sure that you tell them that okay we're going to sort it out we should repair it for them 
So consumer issues need to be taken into account. Community involvement and development. You need to make sure that you are involving in community. You're not just an isolated business who has nothing to do with the social responsibilities or this community as a whole. So you need to make sure that you're taking care of your community and you are doing work in their in their development. We gave an example of planting trees, a very good example where you're doing something ethical for the community for the uh, development of their community of your community or anyone's community. Okay. So this is again a very important concept. Moving on, we have ethical dilemma in workplace. I think we did the whole, this is how we did. We did a, a slideshow on business ethics. We did one on social responsibility. Now we are going to move on ethical dilemma in workplace. Okay. While talking about the ethical dilemma in workplace, it depends, uh, you know, on the individual operating and decision making styles. Common ethical issues include so it depends on the individual operating and decision making styles common ethical issues include so basically ethical dilemma in workplace is not just because of the organization or the workplace itself it's because of your individual operating and decision making styles it's about your individual ethics why do i tell all of you every time i'm giving the lectures i always tell you that please you know you need to make sure that you have ethical uh, ethics in yourself you are not, I'm not telling you that, okay, when you're going to start a business or going to start working somewhere after your education or anything like that, or even if you're working right now, so just be ethical there, just be ethical there and you can just be the baddest person outside your workplace. No, that's not something that we're promoting. We are saying that it depends on the individual operating principle. That's why I'm teaching you this course so that you develop ethics in yourself. You develop integrity, respect and honesty in yourself that you're not going to do anything unethical, not even in business, even outside business. So it says that whenever we're facing dilemmas in the workplace, it's because of the, uh, you know, it depends on the individual operating and decision making style. It's not about just the uh, person who's ethical or unethical in the business. So this is very important. Then I'm just going to read it for you. Depends on the individual operating and decision making styles. Common ethical issues include lack of diversity and discrimination. All right. So there's not diversity and there's discrimination. That is why you, uh, you know, you think that it's a dilemma. The discrimination is there and, you know, you need to be fair to everyone. Diversity is not promoted. Because if people from different race, gender, color are there, you're not being equal with them. Harassment, again, it's not about phys physical harassment only. I told you mental harassment is the worst, right? Then favoritism or nepotism, again, favoritism and nepotism, again, is a very important thing which is going to lead to ethical dilemma and it is unethical. Health and safety, you need to make sure that, you know, you're doing work or you're making your employees do work which is not affecting their health or their safety in any way you need to ensure that they're safe in your company they need to ensure that the employees are safe any other stakeholders safe stake these stakeholders need to ensure that they're not doing anything which is going to hurt the health or safety of their owners so it's a vice versa process environmental responsibility again i told you do not pollute the environment data privacy need to make sure whenever you join an organization most of the organizations they get a confidentiality agreement signed which means that you need to make sure that the data stays private and you know there is no uh, what you can say there is no leakage of the confidential data so social media social media is there but you need to make sure that you are not using the social media in the wrong way this is something which i tell every time as well that you use social media in a nice way you cannot use it in a way which is going to hurt the uh, you know people around and it's going to be a worse thing for everyone all right then accounting expenditure expenditure is basically uh, any illegal or unethical theft of business trade secrets uh, for use by a competitor to achieve a competitor advantage this is again a very bad and hazardous thing dangerous thing that you are not going to get indulged in any illegal practice 